When you drop in the planetary mass and universe blueprint into an empty scene, it will look like this. Let's zoom in in order to see the details on the landmass. The blueprint uses as input data one RGBA texture with the masks for rivers, desert and cities in RGB and a height map in the alpha. We can now go ahead and change those textures in order to get different planets. As you can see, the land masses are forming according to the height map and we can also adjust that in regards to the clouds where we change the texture as well and the clouds will now form over the oceans and dissolve over the land masses according to the settings that you do. The blueprint allows you to change the settings which will be used in order to distribute the different colors and shading types of the planet according to the height map. As you can see, as we move along those sliders here, the planet changes in regards to where you can see uh, oceans, forests and deserts. Changing the textures also gives you the ability to drastically change the look of the planet. All of the changes are happening on a per instance level, so essentially meaning that you can have multiple planets in the scene with different settings in the same blueprint. The blueprint also allows you to change the colors of the atmosphere. The atmospheric settings for clouds can be adjusted and changed. The clouds are moving and are animated within the material. The universe blueprint gives you the control of the sun and the stars in the scene. You can adjust the position, intensity and scale of all elements.